Okay, it's one minute past seven. Woo. Okay. Okay. Oh, I need Jonathan to do something. Uh. <laughs> Okay, hello everyone. Um, to do uh, happy third birthday, everyone. Twenty uh, seventh of November, um, twenty nineteen. We actually uh, inaugurated. We've been around since nineteen seventy six as the Bath Astronomical Society, um, but um, our official um, didn't do not need to resuscitate because uh, things were a little touch and go for about fifteen twenty years. Um, we are official. We've been official for three years, and uh, we've been growing ever since. So that's great. So happy third birthday. Uh, we've got our annual general meeting and then we're followed by our monthly gathering. Uh, we're, we're lucky enough to have Professor um, uh, uh, Patricia Shardy, who's from the University of Bath, from the physics department, who's going to come and talk to us about gamma ray bursts and all about how um, that tells us actually about the early universe and what's in it in terms of all those lovely elements and things. Uh, so uh, all change, please. That's what happens on November's every year. Um, so uh, we currently got 95 members as of yesterday. Um, so it's good. Uh, we've had uh, a few people uh, ins and outs. And so uh, the official tally of people on the system is 102, but uh, 95 of them are paid up. Um, so here's our uh, illustrious team, uh, usual contact points, although I think there's a few more WhatsApp groups, or at least one since um, last time. So if you're interested in going to America in 2024, there's actually a dedicated WhatsApp group to the people that are rich enough to do that. <laughs> um, so what, what's our running order um, for uh, just going through on the AGM? A little bit of a hello. Uh, then we've got to uh, approve the minutes. Hopefully everyone's read them diligently and got no problems with them. Um, if there's no issues, then we'll move on to uh, Chris, who'll take us through the finance and membership report for um, uh, 21, uh, 21 to 22. And then it's the all change bit. Uh, so every, all the positions are up for grabs. Uh, so we've got chair, treasurer, secretary, and all the ordinary officers. Everyone's being bumped off. As of now, actually, no, technically, as soon as um, the finance and membership report is complete, then everyone's bumped off and then <laughs> who comes back? That's the jeopardy moment. We'll just have to see what happens. And then if anyone wants to raise anything, hopefully we'll have a break, a little bit of a chit chat, and then uh, that's where I'll um, help uh, Professor uh, Shadi get all the uh, things set up because she's coming a little later. So we'll have a little bit of a five minute IT break whilst we sort everything out for her. Okay, so uh, does everyone remember what we had this year? These are all our speakers. Kind of a bit of a quiz. Any, any, any memories? He did asteroids and he was brilliant. Tim Gregory. We loved him. Yeah. 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 Tim was Tim was definitely in the top ten. So we've had a good range of speakers um, all the way through. So we've had. Oh, can I remember the book? This is where I'm yeah. going to get caught. I've, I've actually got a prompt here, so it's a little bit of a cheat. So I'll actually make my prompt visible just in case I do forget anyone. Uh, Hannah Sargent, so she was based in America. She's the one who introduced us. Um, so she was talking about lunar regolith and water on the moon. Oh, yeah. That um, uh, then we had Emily uh, Curtis, who gave us a talk on James Webb St uh, Space Telescope. That was one month after it launched. Tim Gregory on Space Rocks. Uh, Mark McIntyre was talking about how to observe meteors. Oh, yes. I'm sure M Mary keeps him. Uh, then Chris um, Starr came to talk to us about Cassini Huygens' mission um, to Saturn. Um, then we had Bernard Hennen, um, oh, sorry, Bernard Hennen, um, who talked to us about a watery world, if I remember rightly. Um, and then we had, uh, oh, a Megan Argo, that's it, um, who talked to us um, about what the next 200 years of astronomy uh, looks like it's going to be. Um, then we had Martin uh, Griffiths, who came to talk, oh, what did Martin, uh, oh, by asterisms, I remember now, because oh, ever since then I've been looking at um, Polaris, the little ring around it, when I got my binoculars out. And then finally we had uh, Jenny Millard, who was kind enough to give us a plug on her show. Uh, yeah, um, uh, she was talking about uh, exploring uh, the invisible cosmos, wasn't it? Uh, her research um, on infrared and dust. Yeah, space dust, the answer space to everything. Dust. 
Um, so what else? Well, we started the year. Does anyone remember this? Uh, we were all in the Abbey uh, helping out uh, thousands of people coming in and we were sort of uh, milling underneath them, being really annoying and talking to people about the moon and how lovely it was. And perhaps one day we go back there and a year later, we've got Snoopy and uh, Sean the Sheep going around said moon with a prospect in 2024 of actually being human beings doing that. So that's, that's a nice sort of uh, link through. We have been doing observing and we've got Steve Kimmins here uh, with his trusty uh, Unistellar Telescope. Extremely popular. Um, so everyone gathers around Steve and Steve doing a, uh, a piece on uh, the Unistellar. Gosh, that's not tomorrow, is it? No. I can't make it. I'm not it, is tomorrow. Tomorrow. it is tomorrow. It is tomorrow, yeah. Um, the reason is this, the, the museum now has a Unistella. Um, there, uh, we, there's lots of light pollution around. Uh, uh, Steve's been very effectively using it to punch through that from a central bath location. So we're going to try it out. There's no reason why it shouldn't work. And we're training the staff in the museum as well to use it. So there's a training night tomorrow. And then we'll probably spread that out a bit again to get more people doing it. All the lovely people. Um, <laughs> someone's doing all the work down here. I don't know who he is. Um, but we've, we've done a number of solar events. This was the first of them. We've also done outreach. So we've had the cubs and things um, making uh, uh, constellations. Anyone guess which one that is? It is a slightly flattened divine, like <laughs> someone's dropped a vine and it's gone splat a bit at the bottom. Um, but yeah, that's lovely. And we've done lots of shows as well. Uh, so you've got Tony here, we've got making stuff. So uh, nice and busy, got so busy, we couldn't get into our own little gazebo. Um, we've had even more solar stuff with Tony Vale here. And hey, I, oh, yeah. I got on TV. <laughs> um, and also we had some interlopers coming in to enjoy the um, solar observing out the front of the Royal Crescent as well. So that was lovely. Um, Jonathan <laughs> <laughs> was entertaining people in Salford um, with talks on Herschel as part of the Herschel 200 program. And um, you're getting a lot of these prims, sorry about that. Um, the, we, we got uh, 15 uh, New Bond Street and we took that over uh, in August. Um, uh, a little shop, did activities inside, telescopes outside, just chatting about astronomy, the Herschels, and everything that you might want to talk about. Um, the new stone was laid, and so that was inaugurated 25th of August of this year. So hopefully everyone's seen that. It doesn't quite look as neat as that anymore. It's, it's a little bit of wear and tear, but uh, it, it, it's, uh, it's good that it's aging and sort of like bedding into it. And uh, you've got the mirror in the middle there, uh, which is uh, sort of the same size as the mirror inside the seven foot telescope. So, that's a good draw, and no one since that's been there has asked me where it was discovered from. So fundamentally, the big aim was to stop that question. Where in the garden was it discovered from? They all assume it's there now. That's great. Uh, even more, so we've got Merrick there, so I can't have pictures of Prim without pictures of Merrick, um, and with lots of launching, but uh, we'll get Roger in there as well. Hi, Roger. Um, so Roger's uh, been helping us out in the outreach as well, and we've got Prim again. So how many photos of Prim did I get into this? Three. And when did I promise I wouldn't do this? Monday? <laughs> but you can see the excitement that um, these uh, things are caused both in Prim and the poor young lady that's launching her rocket as well. Um, we've also been helping out other places. So this is a, a session that we ran in the name Bath Astronomers down at Exmoor for their Dark Skies Festival as well. Um, so that's kept us reasonably busy. And we've also tried to do a bit more family outreach. So despite the terrible weather, this is actually in Corsham. We actually got a queue, well, pretty big queues. In fact, the queues went a bit further back at that certain times of the evening. So probably about 50, maybe up to 70 people came to Corsham that night. Um, we would have done a lot more, but the weather was absolutely rubbish over the October half term. But we tried, we tried. And of course, we get Jonathan back in again. So, <laughs> so it, it's been quite an, a, a fun packed uh, uh, sort of uh, in uh, the social and the outreach side of things and just the general being out there. <laughs> That's just his normal. Yeah. Um, so that was your year. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, and uh, hopefully we'll go on to do even more uh, in the coming year. Uh, perhaps even do some observing. That'd be kind of cool as well. Um, we, it's actually, when was it, October 2021, when we officially opened the observatory, um, and we've run about 12 events there. 
uh, for various groups. And so it's not been hyper busy, but it's been, uh, we've had quite a bit going on there. So that's pretty good. All right, so let's move on to the business of the AGM. So the first thing is uh, we've got the minutes from last year. They were pushed around. Uh, I think we resubmitted them as well. Um, this is the moment we say, is anyone any just cause why these minutes should not be agreed? We've got a celebrant here, so perhaps. <laughs> uh, so anything, anyone from online, any notes anywhere? No, just check you're there. Yeah, okay. So we shall accept the minutes from last year. So, tick. Right. Um, so we've got the uh, members. Uh, oh, sorry, the uh, financial and membership. Now, Chris, did you want to do it from this slide here, or did you want to take control? Um, it's, it, it's up to you, really. Um, you've got the wrong slide up, anyway. Haven't you? <laughs> well, you better take control. If we've got the wrong slide up. Yeah. I'll stop sharing, and you should be able to share. It's all right, we get a report at the end. Can you see that? I will just move my screens around. Okay. Yep. Where did it go? Sorry. Yep. Okay, so I hope everybody can hear me okay. Um, so we have quite a busy year financially as you may be able to tell um, we started the year with a HSBC savings and current account and by February um, that year we'd closed the account and opened up a Metro Bank savings and current account the reason for that was because HSBC had decided to start charging us for their accounts um, so what we have in the in this is divided into quarters um, and we started the year with um, £1,387.62 in, our, in our, all our accounts combined. Um, by the first year, that had increased by um, £472 to £1,860.27. Um, we then increased it again by uh, quite a a staggering £1,116.75 in the second year, uh, second uh, quarter, sorry, um, to almost £3,000. Um, and then in the third quarter, again, an almost £1,000 rise of £952.68, bringing us to £3,929.70. Um, then um, we got a slightly lesser increase, but still quite an impressive £862 on the last quarter, raising our funds to what they were cut, um, as of the 10th of November this month uh, to £4,791.70. Our general uh, outgoings are related to um, Zoom payments, member mojo payments, uh, speaker payments and that sort of thing and they can come out of any of the accounts in general but um, but in generally you come out of the PayPal account so um, we try to put as much money in the um, Metro savings account as possible so where that's where our, our money tends to be um, month on month um, with the current account used for people who want to pay directly into into a bank account rather than use PayPal um, most of the membership comes through PayPal and we have to pay fees on top of that. Um, so PayPal steals some of our money uh, for using their service. Um, and that can be quite a considerable sum overall. Um, moving on um, to the membership, if there's any, no questions on that. Um, we've had quite a good overall increase in membership. Um, so first quarter we had an increase of 21 people in the first three months um that went down slightly and then stagnated for the second 
and third quarter. And then we had a bit more of an increase in, in the last quarter of the year. It tends to be that around the, the warmer, shorter nights that we, we don't seem to have so many members. Um, but during the darker season, part of the season, uh, our membership is increasing quite well. Um, so I know Simon said that's uh, the, the, the number of members is, is higher than this, but as of the 10th of November this year, our membership was 92 and now gone up to 97. Um, all these um, accounts, detailed uh, accounts, can be requested at your leisure, if you like, uh, and we'll be happy to provide those if you want to see any of the any of the details that go into these accounts. Um, any questions or anything anybody would like to ask me? Right. Roger, you're on silent. I'm very quiet. Are you out there, Roger? You're saying something, Roger. Are you on Artemis One, Roger? Is that your problem? <laughs> <laughs> Any questions from Roger? You can always type them in, Roger, and Chris can read them out. Yeah, you can put them in the chat if you like. I'll stop sharing this unless you... Um... <laughs> Any questions from the floor? No. Thanks, Chris. No worries. I'll stop sharing. Hopefully that's it. <laughs> He's typing, I can tell. <laughs> okay. Let's go to the wrong slide again. Oh, yeah, go go over to that one. Where are we on that? Is he so um, thanks to, yes, uh, to Chris and to Jonathan. Um, so Chris is stepping down as treasurer as of tonight. And uh, Jonathan has probably got yet another holiday booked to run away to tomorrow morning. So he's uh, stepping down as secretary. And uh, all the others officially step down right now. Um, and then we have a little bit of fun to see who wants to come back onto the, uh, the committee. So this is the point where we could have an absolute disaster or we could have absolute joy. We will find out. So um, uh, nominations and uh, votes, um, we'll only do a vote if it's contested. Um, so uh, nominations for chair, I have proposed myself because um, no other idiot would do it. But are there any other nice people out there who'd like to be chair? Okay, stands and uncontested, the new chair. Woo. Secretary. So um, Jonathan's standing down. So we have had one nomination for secretary. That's Annie, who's in the audience here. Um, would you like to do a speech, Annie, about what you're going to bring to the Rockman? <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to bring to the event. Uh, I just know trying to bring something. <laughs> That's the first thing. <laughs> I don't know how to do so, Any other um, nominations for secretary? Just in case. <laughs> okay, so Annie, thank you very much for volunteering. You are our new secretary. Treasurer, we I have received one nomination for treasurer. In our audience, we have Jade. Any other nominations? We have no other nominations for treasurer. So I'd like to officially welcome you into the role of treasurer, Jay. And then when you discover that Chris has been embezzling, it's too late. Yeah. I, I think one of your, your first suggestions is a, an external auditor, is it not? Or something similar? Yeah. I asked if Soon, okay, maybe the first committee member, uh, committee point will we'll go for that. So ordinary officers, 
so we have a good group of ordinary officers. Um, so who would like to nominate themselves to be on the um, coordination team, the committee, whatever you like to call it, um, uh, without portfolio, but you are expected to pick up a, a, actions occasionally uh, throughout the year, um, but you're not committed to doing um, loads and loads. Um, you can do what you want. So we've got one nomination. Prim has nominated herself. Merrick has yep. nominated himself. I'll carry on. Jonathan, Mike. Oh, I heard of Mike there in the background as well. <clears throat> Anyone else? I don't think Camilla's with us, um, but it is possible to, well, we do co-opt people straight onto the, um, as ordinary officers as business goes on. Okay, so we, we have those. Have you got that, Jonathan? So Mike, Prim, Jonathan. In fact, you should just hand over the padge. <laughs> yes. it, it's usual for the outgoing secretary to do uh, the minutes of the, the last session um, before we go. Okay, that's great. So we have our ordinary officers. Um, thank well, you for everyone. Can I just ask, is, is Camilla online or Camilla? She's, uh, she's not online, I think. Okay. I would assume that I will check that Camilla wishes to remain. I'm assuming she will. Yeah, hopefully. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, uh, so um, uh, next Wednesday, we've got a sort of a bit of a winter warmer. Lee Pullen's coming to talk to us about taking astrophotography to the next level. So sort of GU up. Normally we wouldn't have another talk to the end of January, but we've got this. Um, he is willing to take on your astro photos. If you've taken some deep sky images, you've got some um, material that you just don't, you're not sure how to process or you just, it's not working for you processing it. Lee is uh, offered to take that on in the next week or so and uses his examples as well as his own to take it forward. So if anyone has um, examples of deep sky, he's not into the planetary and uh, processing the planetary, he's going to be concentrating on deep sky. So if you've got your examples, he'd prefer that to using his own because it's a bit more of a uh, tuition really and sort of give you an example of what other people are doing. Uh, so Roger! Uh, if you want to, then uh, just uh, uh, put yourself uh, forward, that would be great. It'd be quite good if Lee had uh, something along those lines. Um, we're stealing from the University of Bath in a huge way. So not only is our speaker tonight, but we've also got uh, Dr. David Sang, who's going to talk to us. Um, I think about neutral stars because it's his thing. Um, so so I'm not, he might want to talk about <laughs> something else. But I guess it was going to be neutral stars. So he's going to be uh, warming up the end of our uh, January uh, piece. And um, just to give you a, a flavour, these are the re remaining talks we've got up until summer of next year. Um, uh, much to um, Prim's delight, we've got Mary McIntyre can come back on the 28th of June. Um, we've got various people uh, coming in, uh, both from the academic paths and the non-academic paths as well, um, sort of to keep a nice mix of uh, sort of like different speakers. Please think about the 22nd of February and uh, potentially being uh, doing your own little talk for that. Uh, it could be about absolutely anything. It could be about your planning for uh, 2024's trip to um, America. So you've got three months before then, that, so that, that could be quite well along the lines. Okay, right, cool. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a little break, okay? And that's because we just want to set up um, the IT. Oh, okay, but I'm going to be introducing uh, Dr. Patricia uh, 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 Shade. Well done, yeah. Yes. Shade, yeah. Um, and uh, she's going to be talking to us about Dumbledore's and all the amazing stuff you can study from it. But we're just going to have a five minute little break now mm -hmm. just to sort the IT out and then we'll be back. Can I just okay. confirm there wasn't there any other business? Oh, that's a good point. <laughs> yes, yeah. Can I just confirm if anybody got any other business for the AGM or any other questions for Simon uh, before we conclude any the AGM? Any still in new chairs? <laughs> new chairs for the museum. Well, you and me. Or <laughs> that, that has been raised with BPT, so um, oh, cool. yeah, we can we will address try and address well, that. Well, well, yeah. 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 So. That's a little bit beyond our control, but yeah, yes. so we, uh, we have asked BPT. <laughs> yeah. Bath Conservation Trust, Bath. we look after the, um, the Herschel Museum as well as um, the Architecture Museum, uh, number one on the Crescent as well. And some, what else have I I've missed something yeah, out? Okay, so if we uh, take a little break now um, and uh, we'll just sort the IT, so we'll be back in a few minutes, okay? Do whatever you like. You don't want to be on 